here to stop the corporate takeover of the planet and the people and everything that's living. Try to seize the day and get people aware, send a message across the world that people in Seattle know what's going on and we're not going to lay down. We're going to be supporting our struggle on the streets. I think it's their way. They're overreactive. I don't, I don't see any problem here. It's a very peaceful demonstration, and they look like they're here to, to wage war. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's a little scary. I heard, uh, do you ever believe anything? Those guys, they just give you lip service. They lip service, man. It's all double speak. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, take a look around, you know? Take a look around. What's going on all over the world? Did you go to the teaching that happened here? Listen to the people from all over the world tell their story of yeah, what's going totally. on in the world. You know, labor, exploitation, environment, rape and pillage, slash and burn, fucking run. That's what they do. And they talk. You know, they, they're politicians. They're so good at that. Don't listen to them. Are you hopeful that the uh, protests here will have an Yeah. Effect? No. The momentum is big, it's huge. It feels so good to be here with all these people, solidarity, strong. And I've heard that there's a, a great deal of, it's not free trade, it's forced trade. It's three or four, the big, the big boys get in the room, the small room. I heard, you know, there were people that go to these meetings, they go in the small rooms, they make the deals, and they come out and they stuff it down the small country's throats. It's forced trade. <laughs> Is that like a law?